The out of sight, out of mind approach with people. This approach can do wonders for you when it comes to dealing with toxic and difficult people. Stick around as I'll explain more. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description below. The out of sight, out of mind approach is a coping mechanism that involves avoiding or ignoring problems, issues, or responsibilities in the hopes that they'll go away on their own. This approach is based on the belief that if we don't see or think about something, it won't affect us. It can be a way to temporarily relieve stress and anxiety. And I personally love this approach and I'll give you two personal examples of why it's the case for me and my personal life. If you're new to my content, you may be unaware that I suffered from a gambling addiction for 14 years. I wanted to get clean and sober for years but struggled every time falling back into the habit of gambling. But after reading about addiction and doing the work on myself, I've been clean and sober for four incredible years. And I had plenty of triggers along the way. And one of the most important reasons I've remained sober is because I removed all accounts online and reminders of things that used to encourage me to gamble. Out of sight, out of mind. In the same year I quit gambling, which was 2019, I also walked away from a toxic relationship. It was one of the most challenging and emotionally difficult decisions to face. In fact, I tried to walk away before, but I failed miserably, because all the reminders were there. The contact details on my phone, pictures and memories living inside of me. And after a few moments of weakness, in no time, we got back together, dating. The second time that I walked away, I threw away everything and removed it all. And I especially went no contact and remained that way. Out of sight, out of mind. I've been called extremely harsh by a lot of my viewers for encouraging them to block, delete the contact details of certain exes and people. But it works if you genuinely want to move on and remove drama and negativity from your life. Let me explain in more detail how this works positively and very effectively. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of these videos. One of the main goals with the out of sight, out of mind approach is to not speak to toxic, difficult people. You can't win, you can't reason, and you can't compromise with the wrong person. Also, you'll never be good enough with the wrong person. Samuel had a toxic relationship just like myself, with a woman who was a nightmare. She'd abuse him, disrespect him, embarrass him. She was a bad egg for sure. After many arguments, Samuel would insist things were over and he was done, and that he was walking away for good. But he never did. He regularly and occasionally would talk to this toxic woman. They'd either talk on social media, via text and over the phone, and the more they spoke, the more they contacted each other, the more they communicated, the more they were going to keep being stuck in the cycle. Samuel had to do something he had never done to any woman or person before. He had to block her number. After once again being humiliated by this woman in public, he did the difficult deed of pressing the block button and refusing to speak to her again. He went as far as deleting her number entirely, removing any temptation he might have had in a moment of weakness. Since doing that, he actually moved on. He's got married now. He has a family too, with a happy, healthy woman who brings no drama or toxicity or negativity to his life at all. He genuinely could not be happier. As for that toxic ex, the one he used to speak to all the time, the one he used to argue all the time with, the one he was miserable with, well now, she was out of sight, and therefore, she was out of mind. If you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description below. As I mentioned already, when I was a gambling addict, not only did I gamble online, but I used to drive to casinos and betting shops, all alone, or maybe with friends, whenever and wherever. I know this may sound blatantly obvious, but by not going to the places, aka seeing the casinos, friends and betting shops, 
it encouraged me to stop quicker and more effectively too. Gambling for me since doing that was out of sight and out of mind for me. The very same mentality and approach can be applied to toxic people. Regina had a problem. She was addicted to her toxic boyfriend. She couldn't let go, walk away. He didn't want to either as they were stuck in an almighty toxic cycle together. Without realising, she'd put herself into a position where he would see her and they would bump into each other, especially after a falling out or an argument. Regina needed to be strong and realise that the man she was dating was a cheater, a liar and abusive. She had to walk away, but also walk away from the idea of bumping into him again. That involved moving out of the area, distancing herself from certain venues he would go to, and even moving away from mutual friends and interests. It was a lot of sacrifices she had to make, but the less chance she had of seeing this toxic ex, the better. It was avoidance for sure, but it actually worked. Regina healthily and eventually moved on, and like Samuel, met a much better match for her. She's expecting now and happily married. The less I saw of him, even at a distance, the better chance I had to move on, she said. I can resonate with that story in so many ways. AKA, out of sight, literally out of mind. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are what you're looking for, and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and take that first step to turning your life around with better help. Every day is a new life to a wise person and especially a person who embraces change, personal growth and development. If you believed you were going to do the same thing forever with the same people, well, think again. The pandemic, despite your views on it, was a major wake-up call and culture shock to everybody involved. We've all changed. I lost my father in the lockdown to illness. I lost close friends who drifted apart from me and even family members who misbehaved. I now live a new life and those who were toxic towards me are truthfully out of sight and out of mind. People assume sometimes that the walking away part's the most difficult thing. But actually, it runs so much deeper than that. Suddenly, you're more alone now. You're living alone, eating alone, surviving alone. Not long ago, we hosted a major family event and invited a ton of people, bar the people who decided to act badly towards me and others. They weren't welcome and never will be. They're out of sight and out of mind. On reflection, of course, it hurts because these people at one stage meant so much to us were so involved in our lives. Perhaps you could never envisage a future without them in it. But now the future has arrived. The future without them in it. The future without them in your life anymore. So why not try to embrace and accept that harsh reality? The more often you do so, and with every step you take, you'll get there. Remember, every day, to a wise person is a new life. A healthier, happier, better life if you choose and decide it to be. It's all down to your mentality. There was a time where I would have dreamt of being free of my gambling addiction and especially my toxic relationship. Where I'd be able to walk past the casino and not have the urge to blow all my money. Where I'd fall asleep at night knowing that I've not lost money or felt guilty for doing so. That my mind would not be consumed by betting, casinos and gambling. In the past four years, I've walked past many casinos, betting shops, gamblers, 
with no desire to ever return to that lifestyle. I have to pinch myself at how much I've changed and how incredible the progress is as well. The same applies to walking away from toxic people, exes, friends and family. An issue, like I said, I would never even think it'd be possible to do so. To eliminate people who meant so much to me. Move on like they never exist anymore. But I have done. And I've done it so much and it's been so long that it has become a routine of life for me. Also, being with a brand new partner and relationship, which is all I ever wanted, aka healthy and happy, reinforces the progress being amazing to me as well. The out of sight and out of mind approach for me personally has manifested some incredible results for the better. Perhaps it might do the same for you too. But for many others who've applied this, they have had incredible progress and unbelievable results.